with the 11th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Taylor Lewan, tackle, Michigan. I, am I your favorite player you've ever coached? Um, Besides probably. me? Probably, yeah. Will Taylor Lewan be released or traded? What's going on, Titans family? My name is Kyle. Welcome to All Out Titans Podcast. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Do me a favor real fast. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And let's get down to the show. All right, Titans family. So tonight's video, we are going to be talking about the father of Nashville. The dad of the Titans. Or is it the other way around? Ah! The king of busting with the boys. Taylor Lewan. Taylor Lewan. Taylor Lewan. Taylor Lewan. Taylor Lewan is definitely one of my top three favorite players of all time. He's definitely been one of my favorite Titans literally the past five seasons. I am a diehard Taylor Lewan fan. I'm a big supporter of Taylor Lewan. Probably since his about third year as a Titan. When he was drafted back in 2014, I had no idea who he was. I knew we needed an offensive lineman, and honestly, at the time, I really wanted Jake Matthews. A lot of people were talking about Greg Robinson, and I was like, I don't really know who he is. I know he was a great offensive tackle. He ended up getting drafted by the Rams, um, and we all know how his career turned out. Just, mm, yeah, no. I was thinking Michael Orr and Jake Matthews were going to have a dynamite offensive line. Jake Matthews ended up getting picked before the Titans pick by the Atlanta Falcons, and he's had a hell of a career for Atlanta. When we drafted Terry Lewan, I was like, I don't know who this guy is. I never heard of this guy. But he played for Michigan. He looks big. He, he seems like a clean-cut offensive lineman. Okay, you know, he seems all right. I was like, okay, he could sit behind Michael Roos, learn from him, be the best at it, and see how it goes. When Taylor Lewan started playing for the Titans, like, you know, actually started the season and stuff, I think it was the 2015 season, I fell in love with him. I was like, this guy is a great offensive lineman. Even though he wasn't playing his best football at the time, the Titans were actually about to release him when we had the number one overall pick back in, I believe it was 2016. John Robinson actually called Terry Lewan in his office and he was like, how do you feel about us picking a tackle? Terry Lewan responded saying, well, that's a lot of money for a right tackle because I'm your left tackle. A short time later, the Titans traded the pick away, but they were actually going to choose an offensive lineman with the number one overall pick to replace Terry Lewan. Thank goodness they didn't because after that, Terry Lewan just went ape shit. There's only a few left tackles in the game that could play consistently on a high level. Taylor Lewan is one of those guys. I would say there's like three, four, maybe five guys that can do it. And Taylor Lewan has actually been one of the hearts of the Titans. I would say Taylor Lewan on offense, Jarrell Casey at the time on defense. We never really had a standard quarterback, so I got to give it to Taylor Lewan on offense and Jarrell Casey on the defense. For a long time, it was like that at least. Now, Taylor Lewan was the 11th pick of the 2014 NFL Draft in the first round. Kid Wizard Hunt's first round draft pick. Now, we talked about Ken Wizahal a little bit on last video, so I'm not going to get into him too much. Let's just say he was a big disappointment as a coach. So back in 2018, Terry Lewan actually started a podcast called Bustle with the Boys with former Titans linebacker Will Compton. The podcast is doing a great job. They're signed with Barstool Sports. I mean, they're, they're killing it on their media stuff. But I got to say, every time I watch it before... Taylor always looked hungry when he was talking about playing. Even when he was injured, he was like, I'm hungry, I'm ready to get back out there. You know, he always seemed hyped about playing. This last injury, I think, really hit him hard. I think he pushed himself too much on his last ACL tear. I think he was just rushing to get back, you know, try to help his team. This last ACL tear, all the offseason stuff, Taylor won, is just not himself anymore. That hunger he used to have is like gone. You know, he's always talking about being released by the Titans, getting cut, getting traded, whatever. He knows that his time is coming to an end. If you would have asked Taylor won that three years ago, he would have been like, there's no way. I'm hungry. I'm ready to go. I'm going to play for the next 10 years for the Titans. And I will say this. He is a hardcore loyal player. He basically said that he doesn't want to play for anyone else but the Titans. Every time I watch his interviews now, he's always saying that he's going to get released. And it's definitely a high possibility. He has a history of injuries, not just these past two ACL tears, but even before then. But it really sucks because the Titans right now, I hope they don't go into a rebuild, but it's most likely they will. We need a center because most likely, even though Ben Jones signed a three-year extension, he's probably going to retire. Taylor Lewan is either going to retire or get cut or released. Our offensive line definitely needs help. I'm not going to lie. The offensive line is a big problem. The wide receivers is a big problem. Defensive back is a big problem. The only thing that's really great is our defensive lineman and our running back. 
And that's one th another thing I've been hearing, and I'm not even going to talk about it on this video, but a lot of people are saying Derrick Henry is going to be traded. If the Titans do that, I got to say, I'm going to puke. But not too long ago on his Bustle with the Boys podcast, he had former tight end Delaney Walker on the show. And they were actually talking about this. They were all like, you know, the chances of you getting released, getting cut, or staying on with the Titans but taking a pay cut. But if they don't release you, what if they don't trade you? What if they don't ask for a pay cut? Would you report the camp? And his response was, if nothing were to happen, if nothing were to happen. Say they were like, they didn't even say, hey, we're gonna cut you. They said, hey, we're just no staying. Conversation. No, no conversation. No conversation. Just nothing. you just report. You don't hear nothing. You just report to camp. And they ain't draft nobody because no. I feel like if you don't hear nothing all the way up into the draft, you're kind of thinking they gonna draft well, somebody. Gonna but they think, for sure, but they, you know they know better draft somebody. Situation. But if say they don't draft nobody, but they um, say they draft somebody, they use like, okay, Taylor gonna be a mentor. We are gonna use him for a mentor. Say they get a third rounder. Yeah, we use them as a mentor. Well, you're not going to pay somebody $14 million to be yeah, a mentor. Well, Which, next year, like your last year on your deal? Yeah. All remains the same. Um, If everything was the same, they didn't say nothing, like the whole draft yeah, thing yeah. and all that? Perfect case scenario. Here is what I would answer that question with. If this surge, if this rehab goes better than the last rehab went, and I truly, in my heart of hearts, feel like I would be the same dude or I would be close to the same person I have been in my career then I would absolutely go back and play for the Titans. But if I don't think I can be him, then, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, obviously, if I can be the same player or close to the same player I have been in the past, then yes, I would go back and play for the Titans. But if I really don't think, if I think, hey, like, this is not necessarily, like, I'm not going to be who I thought I could be, I'm not going to watch the demise of myself. A hesitant right there. That's not the Taylor Lewan I know. Taylor Lewan I know would be out there if he had two ACL tears. He'll be like, I'm ready to go. Just wrap me up, shoot me up, whatever you, whatever you got to do, get me out there. I'm, I'm down to help my team do anything I can. Now that he has two kids and his wife and everything, you know, he's just soften up. And one thing Taylor has that a lot of p players don't have already is a backup plan. His Bustle with the Boys podcast has taken off. So he's definitely going to be doing that full time. Having a successful podcast is amazing. He's traveling around with his best friend, talking about whatever they want and getting a lot of money for it. Why not do it? Why not? Taylor Wan has made it very clear he does not want to be an NFL coach. He doesn't want to be a coach at all. I can just tell Taylor Wan is done mentally and physically. He is just done. And it really bothers me because I am a huge fan of his. I love Taylor Wan. I wish he would stay for another season. I think he needs to take a pay cut. Absolutely. I mean, he's due $14 million this season. He should take a pay cut. But he even said, you know, it depends on that pay cut. Even if they dropped it to 8 or $9 million for one year, that's still a lot of money. That's still a lot of money. $6 million, that's a lot of money. I mean, play one year for $6 mil, I, I don't see a problem with that. That helps the Titans a little bit. I mean, not a whole lot, but a little bit. We draft an offensive tackle. He could sit back for one season, learn from the best left tackle probably in Titans history. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's been some great ones, but Taylor is up there. You can't just go pick up a left tackle. You can't just go trade for a left tackle. You can't just sign a left tackle. It doesn't work that way. There are a dime in a dozen. Like I said, there's only like five players in the whole league that can actually do it on a consistent basis at a high level. Taylor Wan, when he's healthy, is one of those players. I mean, he's been balling out for a long time. Yes, played Arizona last year. First game opener, Chandler Jones tore him up. That was his first game back from his first ACL tear. It seems like every time they play the Bills, he gets hurt. Every time. What's up with that? Just don't play the Bills. I mean, if, if, if the Titans play the Bills, just take LeJuan and sit him down on the bench because he gets hurt every time they play the Bills. Every single time. The Titans have a huge salary cap problem. Terry LeJuan is due $14 million. He has a history of injuries. He's had two ACL tears in the last three seasons. Yes, he will be released. And it really sucks. It really does suck. I'm not a huge fan when it comes to rookies. I'm really not. So if they draft a left tackle and put him in right away, it's going to be a problem. My advice is try to trade for one. You would have to give up some good picks for him or great players or something. But we definitely need a great left tackle if we want to try to compete for the playoffs and AFC Championship and stuff like that. Makes me sad just talking about it. I love you, Taylor. I love you, Taylor. But that is the name of the game. I mean, he's been playing for nine seasons. It's 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 time, I guess, you know. I don't want him to retire. The only reason why is because I want him to go out with a bang. 
I'm not talking about injury bang. I'm talking about with the great season bang. When he first came with the Titans, we were what? 2-14, and 3-13, and 13, you know, having number one draft picks and horrible team. Titans just sucked, you know, in those years, the early years of Taylor One's career. He helped turn that team around to a competitive team, to one of the best teams in football, to a team where players actually want to go now. For a long time, players didn't even want to go to Tennessee. Tennessee has a bad market for players. It's just not a great place to play football. But they turned it into that to make it a great place to play. And Taylor Lewan was a big part of that. He helped turn this team around. And I gotta give it to him. You know, I my, tip my hat off to him. I love Taylor Lewan. I hope he stays and finishes his career in, on a great level. Of course, I really wanted him to win a Super Bowl back in 2019, I thought we were going to. But, you know, I don't want you going out retiring because of an injury. And yes, he says it all the time. He doesn't want to see the demise of Taylor Lewan. I get it. I totally understand, Taylor. But at least one more season. Come on. Year 10, baby. Year 10. If Taylor Lewan retires, I will say, you know what? He's a true Titan. Always will be. Delaney Walker, a true Titan. Jarrell Casey, a true Titan. Taylor Lewan will be a true Titan when he retires. Or if he gets cut. Most likely, he will be released, and that's when he will retire. A lot of people are saying he's going to go play for the Steelers. I would say hell no to that. Taylor Lewan is a Titan blue through and through. When he gets released, he's retiring. I think he's waiting just to see what happens. I think he would have retired by now, but he's trying to see if the Titans are going to release him or not. He said he was open for a conversation. He said, I'm always open for a conversation. I'm sure we'll know about it within the next few weeks. Take the pay cut. Spend your career as the Titans. Retire. And take busting with the boys wherever you want to go. I'm going to ask you guys again. Will Taylor Lewan be released, traded, or retired? That's going to be it for tonight's video, guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Let me know what you think about Taylor Lewan's situation. Go ahead and comment below. And again, thank you guys so much for all your support. I love you, Titans fans. I've been a diehard Titans fan since 1999. I started Bad Habits Kingdom YouTube channel a couple years ago. It's going great. And I've always wanted to start a Titans podcast. I never got the chance to because I've always been working with Media Wars and Bad Habits Kingdom. And I said, screw it. I'm starting the Titans podcast. All out Titans podcast. That is it. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I'll see you guys next week.